welcome back to AMA TV, where we make fun travel videos and also have discussions about the video production gear we use to make travel videos. And this is a very special time for our channel, my, my channel, <laughs> because my husband is finally home. This is Brian. Hello. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> And on top of that, um, we have finally got our very first drone baby on top of preparing to have a real baby. And we're going to talk about that today. We sure are. What did, why don't you tell them what we got? Well, we got the DJI Mavic Pro, obviously yeah. the best drone on the market. For portability, of course. For portability yeah. and professionalism. I think so, yeah. I, I like the Spark, but I don't know really anything about this stuff. So I was like super easy on the small stuff. The Mavic one out. He loves the Mavic. I really do. It's I've nice. been talking about drones forever and I've wanted one forever, but I've been super nervous to actually fly it. I'm super into the editing of it and adding it to the travel videos, of course. But <laughs> I was kind of waiting for him to come home because he is a highly trained, highly experienced, real live aircraft pilot. Ironic, our setting right now is one that we chose <laughs> because it's a place that makes me happy. There's a big airplane <laughs> behind us. I think that's an F3. B, F4B, so F3B maybe, 1940s aircraft. It's awfully fancy. We thought we'd have that in the video since we can't have the Mavic in the video. That's right. Why can't we have the Mavic in the video? Well, are we going to tell them that now or should we maybe uh, get to that point point? Well, and as we discuss our process through uh, learning to fly the DJI Mavic? Process. So this video is about getting the drone, our initial first steps, learning how to fly the drone, a few places we took the drone, and the quick and unfortunate. No, don't let it all out now. Well, and untimely death of the drone. Oh, we they can't say that. They know the title that. of the video is all about right, the death of right. our drone. Our drone is already dead, which is super, super it sad. It is super sad, it is super sad. But I think that we approached it um, totally. We watched, what, at least 15 videos we on did. how to fly it, unboxing. So read, I read the entire manual PDF cover to cover. She doesn't do that very well, so. But. Uh, we completely started in beginner mode. We uh, we had the tether on it. I think it was like 30 meters where it went around. We we actually went to a uh, a park uh, in San Diego and we used a baseball field as kind of our uh, our map layout. So we had first base, second base, third base. Then we uh, we tried all the modes. We did some active tracking. She was uh, running around as. I think you were you were so not pregnant then uh, <laughs> compared to now I was six months then I'm seven months now <laughs> running around and it was tracking it uh, just fine and a uh, we have you know did the calibration on it all that good stuff made sure that uh, we we're flying in the correct airspace all that stuff so I, I think that we actually really approached it very conservatively and cautiously we did uh, and learned uh, learn how to effectively deploy the drone and fly it yeah, learning to fly a drone, it's all about taking baby steps and just kind of getting your confidence level increased one step at a time. So we went from Absolutely. that safe space to our canyon in the back of our house. That's which right. Was, yeah, that was pretty cool. So uh, we uh, were fortunate enough to live on a canyon in San Diego. And uh, so we would take it off and fly up and down around, take pictures of the house. Um, which was a lot of fun and uh, just a different perspective on what our house looks like from the sky, from up, down, sideways, through the canyon. Getting the basic moves. Kind of really where we honed uh, uh, letting the drone out of our sight a little bit and really focusing on the uh, on the feedback loop that was coming through our, uh, the iPhone connection. Yeah. So. I never got to that point. He got me to the point of the basic commands and the basic controls and um, I started to get nervous when he started to fly it where we couldn't actually see it anymore, but um, I was confident in his abilities, that's for sure, and then... Yeah, it's great. It has a little map and all that stuff, so... And then, and, then we, and then we had to leave San Diego. Which was awesome. We went to Colorado. We went to Crested Butte yep. for his brother's wedding. Oh yeah, that was in between, actually. So we, yeah. had, we came back to San Diego. So we went to Crested Butte. We thought it was time to take things to the next level, so we came to Crested Butte, Colorado to see what we can see, like this for example. Monkey boy, what do you see? Oh my gosh, that's like straight from Instagram. Maximum flight altitude reached. Isn't that crazy? Yes. We sent the drone down to check out this little creek. This is so cute. How do you do? You did it right. 
I think we shot some of the best footage ever on that drone. The mountains. It was amazing there. My brother was running around in the, uh, uh, they had a very small wedding, so he was running around and uh, we took, you know, shots of him and his wife. Aerial shots coming down, aerial shots of us eating. It was very romantical. I was all about capturing drone wedding videography. We were still getting good really with it though. We, 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 you know, we were still like, yeah. do we go active track? I don't know. We'll just, we'll just have a good time with it. So yeah, you, you did really well until we tried to film ourselves. That was a little awkward. That was, that was <laughs> especially yeah. with. The we're not gonna put that in the roller. Yeah. <laughs> the pregnancy and me not being able to <laughs> walk. Yeah, because it was on a, it was on, on a, a hillside. Rocky so hillside. That's no good. <laughs> and look all graceful. But all right. So next. So then, um, we actually had to leave San Diego, like leave, move, leave. Sad. I know, it was sad, but it's nice here. Um, we went on a cross-country road trip, and by the way, there's going to be full vlogs for the Colorado um, little weekend trip and the whole cross-country road trip, and you'll see more drone footage. Um, but yeah, one of the first places we went was Sedona, Arizona. So, oh my beautiful. Gosh. so beautiful. So beautiful. So uh, beautiful. And I think that's really where the, uh, the drone uh, shine. I, I mean, it's... Uh, we did. Absolutely amazing. Even at altitude, I, I forget what it was, maybe 7,000 feet. Um, and you know, the air viscosity, if you will, and uh, how much the props can bite as it climbs through the air, it gets thinner as you climb, all that weird pilot stuff. Uh, I thought it did really good. You know, it was flying around. We got great shots of mountainsides, some sunsets. Uh, uh, we walked on some trails. We found a good sinkhole. Whoa! Look at this. Let's see what Monkey Boy would do. Oh, Monkey Boy. We've got Monkey Boy now in my KNF Concept backpack. He's definitely my drone pilot. <laughs> I've flown the drone a handful of times, but I'm definitely not confident enough yet. Awesome catch, babe. It was on point. It was really, uh, really doing a good job. I think that was the furthest we let it off its tether. Absolutely. Careful with our baby. It's gonna fly the drone between this gap and the rocks right there. Can't quite get there. It's like right next to it. And this is also where we started experimenting with neutral density filters, which are highly recommended for uh, drone videography. So these are by Sandmark, which is a San Diego company, which is really cool. Lots of different brands make these, but they're highly recommended because they cut the light coming into the drone, which allows you to have a wider aperture. So I'll put a link to this in the video description below, and I'll definitely be talking more about oh, yeah. drone accessories in the future, whenever I do get my drone back. I was excited to talk about these, but. Yep. You definitely need them. It's not really a plug, yeah. but it's just kind of, it's something that you're gonna need. Yeah, we enjoyed playing with them. Absolutely. So these really were the very best times we had with our precious monkey boy. It was about three weeks that we had him doing all kinds of great stuff and on the cross country road trip we really wanted to continue filming but it was after Sedona, um, outside, further out in Arizona that yeah. we decided to check yep. out. The Meteor Crater. Meteor Crater. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen this but it is this giant hole in the earth and we decided to uh, set up the drone to see if we could just get a quick aerial shot to kind of encompass this memory of our cross country trip. Right. Except um, in further later review of the video you said something that we think may have cursed. Are we gonna, we should probably, uh, we should probably <laughs> cut that in. <laughs> We're, uh, We're in the spirit world now, Chavez. There's a crater, a meteor struck Earth many years ago. We're not going to the museum, we don't have time for that. But we're gonna fly the drone in the sky and see if we can see the crater. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen Young Guns, but that, that's a great one. And they, uh, it, it was very, I, I don't want to think that this was like a spiritual no. thing, but uh, we, we were really <laughs> listening to some uh, beautiful music that we don't uh, get it, uh, you know, hear often on obviously uh, Casey Kasem's top 40. But, but. <laughs> 
Long story short, there was no explanation no. for what happened next. It was freaky. It truly was. It truly was. I'm holding the drone. Alicia is going to go ahead and just launch it straight up from the hand mode. Um, no trouble with GPS uh, acquiring uh, the satellites. She goes to launch it for hover. It steps up, uh, steps up three feet or so, and it hovers literally for maybe a half a second. And it does a complete inverted 180 roll, power on, power on, into the ground. It is, it is like the nightmare that people have when they think, oh, I'm afraid to buy a drone because what if it just falls out of the sky? Yep. And everyone goes, oh, no, 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 DJI drones fly themselves, they're great, blah, 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 and I'm sure they are. In fact, when we were learning, I was like, hey, if you're flying this and you're ever just confused, just yeah. hands off. The drone will just stop and not do anything. Yeah. Unless you're in intelligent mode or something, it is, it, it will be fine. And uh, she launched it and it decided to completely uh, check out of our cross-country trip. So. It literally just face planted itself in the dart at full speed and all I did was yeah. launch it up. Actually, DJI has a really cool feature in the app. They True. have flight yeah. logs. They do. Flight logs and they go as deep as to show exactly what you're doing with the remote control. Because yep. it's kind of funny that like I usually let him fly and he does a great job, of course. And then the minute I fly, it crashes. But it's really I tried not to my blame fault. it on her, but it's then I really looked at the not. flight log. I was like, "Yeah, you really didn't do anything wrong." There, I mean, we're in the middle of the not desert. The There's no, uh, I mean, we're not in the bit of like buildings or yeah. cities or anything. Like it that. didn't crash into anything. Yeah. It just flipped itself over so, and went into the dirt. So the good news is, I, I, I think that we um, we shipped it back to DJI. Uh, we just we have not yet heard back from them. Uh, and we're going to, uh, I, I think that's kind of part two of this, maybe yeah. document the process of either repairing a drone and put their techs on it. Uh, th they've maybe got a really uh, uh, more robust diagnostics uh, way to go, to, you know, get in there and see what was going on. So hopefully, um, you know, they'll recognize that it wasn't anything from user input, but... Right. Uh, because people like, crash drones all the time, and... Yeah, in the trees or in the CGI water. CGI doesn't or... cover it, yeah. yeah. If you make a mistake, they're, they're not going to cover it. But we strongly feel that there was some sort of, what do you, you think, mechanical error? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm... I'm not a uh, I'm not a DJI tech, so I can't know. Now, now, no, by no means is this like a ploy for like DJI or anything like that. No. But just kind of, we just want to share the experience of uh, what happened. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I think more it's a segue to say this is part two. Like this is how we uh, how we went through the resolution process and. and right. Uh, so. Yeah, and just to share our because wonderful a, first yeah, month with our baby. Totally, because it's such a it, it's such a fun tool, man. Yeah, it really you is. You really it, fell in love. It, oh, it really is just a great, <laughs> just a great uh, thing to put in your bag of tricks for uh, just great shots, or if you're, you know, traveling around to see what's around you. I think we really, really took. Um, advantage of the capability of that thing. Yeah, you did really well. I knew you would do really well, and I was going to get better at it. Yeah, yeah, it took time. I just, you know, yeah. I, I, I couldn't because I, I like to fly things. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really excited to edit all the footage. The footage was what I was all about getting. So stay tuned for the next videos coming up. Like I said, Colorado, cross country trip. Yeah. And then we are having a baby in, so it'll be six weeks from the time <sighs> that you guys see this. <laughs> And the sun so, is setting. And the sun is setting, <laughs> so this video is yeah. over. If any of you have any ideas on what might have happened, yeah. because we've told you all we know. Maybe we just had a motor that said, hey, uh, I don't want to play today. Yeah. So. Thinking it was just a dysfunctional unit. We still love DJI. We still want another one. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and they actually supported you early in your channel, didn't you? Because yeah. I still play with that Osmo yeah. thing sometimes. Yeah. They so gave hats us, off to DJI for that. That's they awesome. They gave us the Osmo. Yeah. Yeah, so we still have that, but... We'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching. Glad you guys got a chance to meet my hubby. Pleasure. And uh, do we want to tell them where we moved to? <laughs> well, we'll give them a hint. This plane behind us is in the parking lot <laughs> of a museum somewhere in Florida. Yeah. I think they can narrow it down. It's definitely there. Florida based on how hot we are. Yes. But regardless, it will definitely be at the end of the cross-country trip. All right. All right. All right. Cheers. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.